and I set an I set an alarm. I was not that drunk, like I still knew what I was doing. And so I set an alarm for me to get back up and go back outside. And before my alarm has a chance to go off, my boyfriend comes tumbling in the room. And I was like, okay, yeah, the night is over. Yeah, so I fell asleep at like, 12, 15 or something, and then when my boyfriend came stumbling in the room, I looked at the clock, and it was like around 1 o'clock or 1.30, but yeah, when I heard him stumbling in, I was like, still had my eyes closed, and I was just thinking to myself, ugh, because <laughs> that was our first experience, like, of having, like, that, like, I had never been out with him when he was drinking a lot, and so that was the first time, so... I didn't know what to do, but I was like, it's his day, he's having fun, so I gotta be here to take care of him. So, he was throwing up, and it was not like chunks of throw up because he was drinking, um, so it was very liquidy. <laughs> I guess that's TMI, but yeah, a lot of liquidy throw up. But his mom is coming into the room and she's asking me if I need help and I'm just like, please bring me back so you can throw up into the bags and not on the floor because he threw up, he threw up on the shoes that I was wearing that night, which was just fabulous. It was fine though. I just wanted him to be okay and I was happy that he had a good time. But yeah, so that was Saturday. I still had a lot of fun though, and I did not mind. Like I knew as the night was going on, like I saw him drinking. Even though I was like getting like tipsy myself, I was still keeping an eye on him. And I knew it was gonna be a long night. Like just watching him and him taking shots after shots after shot, I knew it was about to go down. Put concealer down there. After I put on my concealer, my face always looks so light. Like, it's not that light in person. <laughs> but yeah, I had a great time. So, that was really fun. So, congratulations to you, babe. I love you so much. Um, and I love you too, mom, because my mom has accomplished so much. And that was just a nice week for me, just for me to like be a supporter of people that are working so hard and that are so close to me in my life. So that was a fun week. And then the next day, Sunday, was Mother's Day. So I went to work for a few hours and then I went and spent time with my mom and gave her her gift. So that was the end of that week. And then the following day, Monday, my boyfriend and I, well, he woke up extremely hungover. And then I woke up with a sore throat. He had a little bit of a sore throat, but he was more focused on the hangoverness. I was more focused on like my throat was killing me. And so I was like, okay, fine, a sore throat is gonna only gonna last a day. Little did I know that was the start to a horrible week of sickness. So I was sick that entire week. So I had a week of fun followed by a week of sickness and just like dread and I felt tired and it was just not fun. But yeah, so I had a week of fun and then a week of sickness. And when I get sick, I'm not really sure if this is true for a lot of other people, but when I get sick, it never fails. My colds always, always, always last um, at least seven days. And each day has its own specific, like, thing that it targets, I guess. So yeah, that was not fun. I had to go to the doctor. I was on a lot of meds. And yeah, it was just, it's never fun when I, because I have asthma and 
when I feel it coming on, like, I just know I'm about to have a rough week. It's not fun. But my mom's always there for me and guiding me through what to do to help control it and everything and making sure I stay on top of my breathing treatments. And my boyfriend was taking care of me most of the time, driving me places, getting my medicine for me. So yeah. Now for the fun part, we're gonna use the palette. Um, I guess before, I'll put a little bit of powder. So yeah, other than that, what's been going on with me, um, I've been going to a nutritionist. I took uh, my doctor's advice because I, I'm getting older and of course everyone knows this but my body's just changing. It can't handle the things that I used to eat as well as it did in the past and my body's not reacting in the way that I want it to and so I'm trying to make a healthy change in my life and so I've been seeing a nutritionist every Tuesday and it's been so helpful and the biggest thing it's been so informative like she tells me things that I've heard before on like social media and everything but she explains them and tells me the reasons behind things that I should do so I don't know how that made such a huge difference but it did for me it just made me see the bigger picture and like what's really important and not having just like a flat stomach and that Instagram model shape but being healthy feeling good um, yeah so I've been seeing a nutritionist that's been going really well for me my goal is to eat healthier and then of course I want to lose weight I know people say you shouldn't pay attention to like the scale and everything but I'm just not at a weight that I want to be at. I want to be healthier and I want to lose weight. And so yeah, I've been going to see a nutritionist and it's been good. Sorry, my camera died. But like I was saying, obviously I'm not going to be able to go from here to here like in a month, which that's not my goal. That's unrealistic and probably unhealthy, but I do want to be better just for myself and just to feel good. So yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated on how that's going. My goal is to come from what my weight is right now, and I'm not going to tell you guys that yet. I'll tell you guys in a later video, but I want to come from whatever my weight is right now down to 130 pounds, and that is what I weighed my senior year in high school. and. That is also the weight that would be ideal for my height. That would make me at a healthy BMI. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going through right now. It's actually a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and continue with my makeup. Um, so I just put powder on, so I'm gonna do the eyes now. So I'm gonna move on to my Prism palette. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys swatches too. I am so, so, so excited. I actually, it's actually been a while since I got this stuff and I've been holding out on using it to make this video and I have been waiting to swatch it. Last Saturday from my sister's prom I was doing her makeup and I was at my mom's, my mom and my dad's house and my mom picked it up and she was about to swatch it and I was like, no, what are you doing? I was like, I haven't even touched it yet, it's for a video, it's like you can swatch it after but please don't touch it, don't touch it. So it's still so, so pretty. But this is what it looks like on the front. These are the shades. So I'm going to swatch some for you guys. So here's the brush that comes with it. I love this side right here. This is going to be my crease color and this is going to be my lid color. so pretty <laughs> okay so now that we got some swatches so you guys can see some of the color payoffs that you get from this oh they are so beautiful okay 
So I'm going to go in with parallel. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to go in with Saturn. I tend to stay towards like warmer colors for my crease. Brown, if all else fails, but I like a warm like orange or orange color. So I'm going to go in that with my crease and I'm going to use the brush that it comes with. Wow. It has... Wow, I'm like speechless. The color is amazing. I'm gonna go in with that. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think on my lid, I'll show you guys the swatches again, but I think on my lid to go with my crease color, I think I want to use that, that one right there, which is the color Dimension, which is that color right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Shimmery shades and sparkly shades. What am I looking at? <laughs> they just apply better when you use your finger. Because you do swatches with your finger and if you want it to look just like that, apply it with your finger. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm going to go in to the to the outer corner and I'm going to use the color Osiris. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Let me let it focus, which is that purple color right there. So I'm going in with the color Osiris in the outer corner. Uh, go in with the color parallel. Just that color right there. Ooh, look at the palette up close. Just admire that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go in with the color parallel and my crease just a little bit. I think that's gonna complete my eye look for today. All right, so how do you guys like the eyes? I think they came out so good. That was so fun. I haven't played with a new palette in so long. This is my first new palette in a long time, so that was a lot of fun to play with. So, what is next? Oh, the last thing is the lipstick. Okay, so this is the Smashbox lipstick, and this is in the color Honey. And the packaging of all of this, by the way, was so nice. Like, even though it came from TJ Maxx, it wasn't, like, super beat up. So I really like that, too. So this is what the little lipstick thing looks like. It's very tiny. This is what it is compared to the size of my hand. And this is what the color looks like. Oh, girl. That's so cute. That's what the color looks like. 
So most likely we already know I'm probably going to have to add a lip liner with this. But let's see how it looks on its own first. Color! I've always seen people try on colors like this and I always wonder how it would look on me and I did not think it was going to come out like that. It's like a... I'm going to use a lip liner, but it's like a peachy nude. I always wanted to try. I've always wanted to try Peachy Nude, but before you guys judge it, wait. Let me go get some lip liner. I like it. Alright, so I'm back and I put mascara on. And the last thing I'm going to add is some blush and some highlight. Okay, so here is the final look. I hope you guys like it. So this was me using <coughs> the Real Techniques um, Diamond Sponge, um, the Real Technique, Real Tech. I cannot get this word right. The Real Techniques um, Brush Set, Color Correcting Brush Set, um, the Prism Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and also Smashbox Lipstick. I love how it came out. I don't usually wear lipstick colors, so I'm gonna have to get used to this, or I might end up wiping it off if like, I feel like it doesn't go, but I don't know. I kinda wanted to try everything together as one look, so the lipstick might not match as well, but it's fine. I wanted to try everything and see how it looked together. So that is it. So thank you guys for sticking around with me and listening to me talk. I know this video is probably so long so so long so thanks for sticking around and listening to me and I had fun so if you guys like it make sure you subscribe to my channel I think down below and make sure you also press the bell button and so that means you'll be subscribed and you'll also be notified when I upload videos and if you stuck around and you hung around until the end of the video I have something that I want to tell you guys that is exciting so I want to thank you guys so so much I'm at 39 or 40 subscribers and that is so big for me considering I only have two videos and so we're just gonna keep growing as a family and once I get to 100 subscribers I'm gonna do a giveaway so tell all your friends repost my video um, share like and comment and we can get noticed by more people in the makeup community so yeah I will tell you guys it is gonna be um, so that's going to be super, super fun to come up with the rules and see you guys participating and um, supporting me. So yeah, once we make it to 100 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. So yep, if you stay till the end of the video, you're lucky because now, now you know that info. And maybe in the next video, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to be giving away. And so that, that'll make it more fun for you to get people to subscribe and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me throughout this entire video. And I will be back soon with another one. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.